Hello everyone. As we discuss serious issues here, we have to from time to time just lighten things up because that's the only way we can stay sane and stay connected. And right now, as sad as it is, River State is the one that is playing that, you know, giving us that drama. And uh, Fubara, so there's the live band. Fubara, day your day, hey, make I day my day. Nobody worry, no, but anyway, just hear them. For the interest of our dear states. Thank you, and may God bless every one of you. <laughs> I sing day your day. Everybody say day is something. Day your day, I day my day. He say day is something. Nobody worry anybody. Everybody will continue your own work. Where somebody say one worry somebody, na dey wahala dey. As my papa go talk, I me say if you want peace, be prepared for war. Honestly, I mean it's just so crazy what is going on. But man, the the most heartbreaking thing is the fact that it's at the expense of the state. Otherwise. Uh, this public humiliation weakens it. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. We know what to say. Somebody, somebody needs, you know, that that thing about pride goes before the fall, right? That's exactly wicked on this whole issue. It's just amazing. His arrogance of the last eight or maybe like 12, 16 years, right? From when he was like patience, uh, Jonathan's boy. As minister, he had favor with her. That was where their whole fight with uh, um, this person what was his name. Uh, oh Lord, Amechi will we, we, we start and stuff like that. So it's been on this high where you, he begins to believe that he's something. You know, the worst thing that can happen to any human being is when you begin to believe that you're something and you become arrogant. Because at the end of the day, we are all nothing. You know, one of the things that keeps me humble about life on a very serious note like let me take it you know serious this video has going to be serious one of the things that humble me about life is how we know nothing we don't know what is going to happen to us the next second as him i don't know whether i'm going to hit my leg i don't know whether i'm going to hear bad news even things that have happened until we are told we don't know so then that makes us what? That makes us nothing. For me, that thing alone is always so humbling that this life, we don't even know what's going to happen to us in this life. We are all waiting. We are not saying, oh, 2023, we are looking forward to 2024. We don't know. 2024 is pregnant. Tomorrow is pregnant. Next second is pregnant. We don't know what's going to happen. There are a lot of, a lot of people who entered 2023 with us, who were, you know, screaming and everything at the end of the day. Some of them have not even made it up to today. And some of us that have made it up to today, we don't even know whether we're going to make it out of it. So these are things that keep people humble. That's one things that keep me humble. When I see people like, oh, you're so humble. Like, what am I supposed to be? I'm just a nobody on this earth. I have knows nothing. That my life is just like that. I don't even know what's going to happen to me the next second. I don't know what has already happened until somebody tells me, you know, that kind of a thing. So these are things that really, for me, they really keep me humble. When I see people be Behaving in such arrogant manner, behaving as if they own the world. I always I'm always surprised looking at them because me, as you see me like this, I always say be uh two dates that normally depress me, although now with my birthday I'm trying to change my mentality on, on my birthday. These two dates are actually my birthday and new year, and they are just a few weeks apart. You understand? I think they're about two plus seventeen days or so apart. Uh, uh, 12th of December is my birthday, and then you have January 1st. Because on my birthday, I'm like, I used to look at it, uh, if I celebrate it, what if that's the last birthday and I'm busy here celebrating it? And when it comes to a new year, I'm like, I always, I was this is something that, even like from when I was a child, I said like from age 13, 14, 15, this thought that I've always had. And then new years, I'm like, what if I celebrate the, the new year and it is the year that I will not live? Meaning it's the year that I will die in. 
then what have I done? That's how it's so, they always feel so depressed on those days. But one of the things I'm trying to do now is actually to take every of my last, of my birthday as my last birthday and really celebrate it. So when I see people being so arrogant, honestly, I'm always surprised. I'm thinking, what the heck, what the heck do they think they are? We are all nobodies. We are all nothing. I will return back to earth, nothing. <laughs>